former Australian champion and Justin Fortune. Well, he's been in against some big names as well. A former New South Wales and OPBF heavyweight champion. And let's look at the tail of the tape. And as you can see, not a lot in terms of the reach at 180 and 179 centimetres. But certainly Carly Meehan is a much bigger man. At 6'5", as opposed to 5'10", in the old language. And Justin Fortune coming in a little heavier at 248 pounds as opposed to 235 for Carly Meehan. So Carly Meehan trying to get back on track here after losing to Danny Williams in a single round back in June when he challenged for the Commonwealth title. It's one of the fastest knockouts results ever in British boxing. And he has some work to do. And Justin Fortune, well, as I mentioned, he's been in against some good names. He has a long record dating back to 1990. 90. He made his debut winning a six rounder against Armin Basic in Bankstown. And a great amateur career as well, but before turning professional. And Adam Watt, who's joined Troy Waters in the commentary position, has done a lot of sparring recently with Justin Fortune. How do you rate his chances, Adam? Well, it's all about sticking to his game plan. Uh, I think you'll be able to see the height difference that he's got against Carly. But Justin moves his head and comes in, and once he gets in, he's got to work. He's got to throw the punches. Uh, if Justin can do that while he's in with the show and uh, so I'll put this fight down to whoever sticks to their game plan the best I mean Carly's got to stay away from Justin and Justin's got to get in but uh, Justin's definitely got the power to put Carly away as has Carly got to put the power to put away Justin. Well, that's right. We do know that Justin Fortuna, uh, before he started boxing, was a world powerlifting champion. So we know that he's got that power and that strength there. Um, as you're saying, he's just got to be able to use it. Yeah, he's um, he's trained hard for this fight. I've watched him uh, train his last three fights, and he's definitely put it, put the most work in for this fight. He's um, he's coming in off a loss to um, uh, Colin Wilson, uh, Southpaw guy. I think he took that fight too lightly and uh, I asked him myself, you know, why are you taking this fight? He says, you've got something to prove. Well, it's interesting we talk about the comparison and here comes the giant 196 centimetre or 6 feet 5 Carly Meehan. And, of course, we mentioned Justin Fortune has seen action against Lennox Lewis. Uh, he would have been really undersized in that as well. So he has experience against a much bigger opponent. It was back in 95 and it was a good result for Lennox Lewis winning in the fourth round in Dublin. Uh, Carly Meehan will hold no fears for Justin Fortune. On paper, it looks like a good bout. And let's get the introductions underway. The Dick O'Connor Memorial title, a heavyweight contest scheduled for eight three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from the eastern suburbs and weighed in at 112.8 kilograms. A record 24 fights, 15 wins, 10 wins via way of knockout. A former New South Wales OPA and OPBF champion. A man that has been in the ring with Lennox Lewis, Buster Mathers Jr. and Australia's best. He is Justin Fortune. Towering across the ring, now based out of Wyong on the central coast. This man originally from New Zealand. He weighed in at 106.8 kilograms. 24 fights, 23 wins, 18 wins, coming via way of knockout. Recently challenged for the Commonwealth title in Great Britain. He is a former Australian heavyweight champion, Carly Chipmate Mia. Trevor Christian, the referee for this contest, Billy Mails, Max Scanlon, and Bernie McMahon, your judges at ringside. Come in, Mike. Come in, Carly. You both know what I want. You're both professional. I want punching with the knuckle part of the glove, the face and the front part of the body. In the event of a knockdown, the man needs feet to the furthest neutral corner, which is that one there or the one behind me. When the bell sounds, come out, shake hands and protect yourself at all times. If I say break, stop or box, that's what I want you to do. Shake hands, best of luck to both of you. So Trevor Christian with the final instructions. And a big question now for Carly Meehan. Can he rebound after a first round knockout defeat at the hands of Danny Williams for the Commonwealth title? Both men have had 24 fights, interestingly. Justin Fortune, though vastly more experienced in terms of years, he made his debut back in 1990. Carly Meehan, 
made his debut on the 25th of May, 97. So he's had 24 fights in that period. Justin Fortune has stretched his out. He's fought all over the world. Been in against some of the big names, as we've pointed out. And Justin Fortune obviously fancy his chances here against Carly Meehan. The heavyweight attraction scheduled for eight three-minute rounds, and we get underway. And as you can see, big mismatch in terms of height. Some 18 centimetres to the advantage of Carly Meehan, but in the reach, it's just one centimetre. Well, I see Carly Meehan training in the gym quite, quite often, and uh, he's got good speed, good power. He's got good movement for a big man. Uh, Justin's going to have to get up in close and, and work that body and, and unload those big shots that he has. He cannot stay on the outside. He'll just get picked off all night. Did you ever have a preference for a taller fighter, or a shorter fighter, or someone around the same height? Well, I mean, probably a taller fighter would be uh, more preferable to me because uh, I like to come in close and get in close and, you know, have a fight. But uh, the shorter guy, he's, he's more in the advantage once he gets in close. And presumably, Adam, you would have tackled a lot of shorter opponents in your career. Yeah, that's most... I, I have fought a few tall guys, but, um, yeah, the sh shorter guys like to get in underneath your jab, and that's what Justin has to do here. If you see Carly's flicking that jab out, and Justin has to move his head, because, uh, you're right, he'll just pick him off all night if he uh, doesn't move that head. Yeah, he needs to be a, a, a miniature Mike Tyson. Does Bob and Weave make Carly miss? When Carly misses, then he's got to make Carly pay. <laughs> Justin Fortune moves in, starts working away at the body. Carly Min, not a noted fast starter. He's taking some time to warm to his task on occasions. There's a big right hand over the top, backing it up too, and now Justin Fortune retreats into the red corner. And he's clubbed again with the right hand from Carly Min. Both of you, come on. Justin Fortune thought referee Trevor Christian was going to step in there. Now Carly Meehan went on with the job. Right, you're right, yeah, oh, that's right, darling, break. And took a couple of shots there, Justin Fortune, and Carly Meehan looking to end this in style. Yeah, well, Justin doesn't want to start talking to um, to the referee saying break because you got caught a couple of times and, you know, protect yourselves at all times. Final 60 seconds of the opening round. He's very puffy in the face and under the eyes now, Justin Fortune. Well, he's taken three big right hands off, uh, off Carly. Checkmate, man. Big shots. And he took those shots well, though. He took them well, didn't he? He, um, you know, he, he took those right hands right on the uh, chin there. The only thing with that, uh, Adam, is you can't take too many of them. No, you definitely can't. Stop, baby. Come on, stop and out in the middle. Come on. Let him out, Carly. Break out. John Way traffic at the moment. Carly Meehan unloading here on Justin Fortune. Does have enormous power. 18 KO wins for Carly Meehan. 23 victories. Now he's backed up Justin Fortune with a clubbing right hand. Justin Fortune gets his hands up, but does he need to take any more punishment? Trevor Christian, the referee, watching it closely. Carly Meehan right on the bell, finishes with the uppercut. One-way traffic, and Justin Fortune is in big trouble in the red corner. He's a tough man. He wouldn't go down, but he took an awful amount of punishment. Yeah, well, I think it's just a matter of time. I mean, uh, we got to see there's a big right hand, followed by a beautiful left hook. Uppercut was past the block, but there's another beautiful right, two beautiful right hands. And they're dangerous shots hitting behind the back of the ear. They're a very, very painful shot, a very hard shot to recover from. One-way traffic for Carly Meehan, just unloading at will on Justin Fortune. Referee Trevor Christian has just spoken to Justin Fortune in the red corner, asking him if he's OK. He took an enormous amount of punishment there, and Adam one wonders how much longer he can sustain this. Oh, he can't take too much more of that. He's, uh, he's got to move his head, and he's got to put everything into the second round. If he doesn't turn this fight around this second round, uh, I think Dino will probably throw the towel. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, he's got to turn this fight around. He's got to let it all hang out in this round. He's got to give it... 110% and if it doesn't work well he hasn't really lost anything because if he keeps continuing on the way he's going now he's, he's going down the right track anyway he's got to get Carly going backwards he, he can't let Carly come forward he's, he's just lining him up with those right hands yeah I think uh, 
Justin Fortune's corner ready to step in and uh, and call this fight a hot, to a halt. Again, he's soaking up big punishment here from the right hand predominantly from Carly Meehan. Yeah, they don't want Justin taking too much punishment. He's been a brave and experienced campaigner, Justin Fortune. He may have bitten off more than he can chew here against Carly Meehan. There's a big right hand from Carly Meehan again. Trevor Christian heading in the direction of Justin Fortune. He's watching him closely and won't let this go on too much longer unless Justin Fortune can fire back some artillery of his own. Yeah, Justin really needs to keep those hands up. He's coming in with those hands down. He's getting caught with clean right punches. Come out. And you, you cannot take too many clean shots like that, especially against a man of Carly Meehan's you know, power. He's just got physical attributes. He's just huge. I mean, the power this guy has is enormous. And Justin Fortune doesn't appear to be 100% from where I'm sitting. And Carly Meehan is looking for the finishing touches here. But let me tell you, the punches that Justin Fortune has already taken of Carly Meehan is not too many heavyweights, not, not just Australia, but the world would still be standing in there. Oh, huge punches, weren't they? There's another one. Because let me tell you, Carly Meehan can whack. He's got plenty of power. This is where Justin's got to do the work. Once he gets Carly up on the ropes, he's got to work in there and let five or six punches go. He just can't throw two punches and hold. Final 60 seconds of the second round. Again, it's been Carly Meehan dictating. Justin Fortune, not a lot to cheer about from his perspective so far. Let him out, let him out. Come out, come out. Here you Justin. Give me you see Carly just cocking that right hand and just dropping it in on Justin. He's got to, Justin's got to move and try and counter that right. Now he's got to work. Yes. At the moment, Justin fighting the wrong fight, staying on the outside. Allowing Carla Meehan to pick him off with that jab, and then as soon as that jab starts landing, bang that right hand, left hook. Now Justin Fortune works to the body, concluding stages of round number two. Yeah, that's where Justin needs to be, unloading some big heavy shots in close. End of round number two, but again, Carly Meehan in control there. First two rounds, we go to his direction, undoubtedly. Justin Fortune, oh, this is going to be a long night at the office. Let's see if we can listen in with a red corner. Have a deep breath. Deep breath. All again. Right, open up. All right, listen. Hey, look, all he's doing is trying to jab his weight. You come in, he's dropping the right hand in. You've got to be first. Understand me? You've got to be first. You've got to take it to him and throw those hooks to the body and make to the head. All right? If he gets range on you, he's going to hit you all night with that right hand. I've got to stop it. Understand? All right, I know you're a man and he can take those shots. But I want you to win this fight. You've got to throw punches back. All right? You're not throwing enough. Throw more punches back. Start winning, man. Be more aggressive. Second Put it on him. Down. Put it on him. Right Round down. three. Come on, move your gear, boy. And set to go. Round number three. Carly Meehan in the orange trunks has had it all his own way so far. Justin Fortune in the black with his hands full. He wanted advice. to get off first, but it's easier said than done, Adam. Yeah, that was good advice there from Dino Billinghurst, his uh, trainer. He's, uh, he, threw, he told Justin that if he doesn't do something in this round, he will throw the towel. And he's got to do exactly what he says. He's got to get in there, throw the punches. Yeah, stop staying at range. He's got to get in close and he's got to let those punches go. As you're saying, Adam, that was, you know, that was perfect instruction from Dino. I mean, he's been around in the game a long time. It's a game of smarts, not, not, not only a game of toughness. This, and uh, there's, there's no doubt Justin's tough, but he's, he just can't take those punches, man. No, well, you, you've, got to, you've got to be tough, but you've also got to be smart at the same time. You know, it's the art of being hit, of, of hitting and not being hit. That's uh, Trevor Christian's seen enough here. He waves it away here in round number three. And Carly Meehan just unloading at will on Justin Fortune comes up for the third round stoppage. That was a fair decision, I think. Yeah, I think so, Adam. I mean, uh, you just can't take those sort of shots, especially from a big heavyweight like Carly Meehan. You just cannot take those sort of shots all night. No, they're going to hurt you later on down the track. You know, that, that, that's a fair stoppage, though. 
Yes, without a doubt. I mean, just back to back, it was a mismatch in terms of height. And as it turned out, right from the opening bell, Carly Meehan with a point to prove after losing his undefeated record back in June to Danny Williams. Returns to the winner's circle at the expense of Justin Fortune. And for a man who has done so much, one wonders about his longevity in terms of maybe that's enough for him. At 35 years of age, he's only just under the, way, uh, the age limit for New South Wales boxing. And maybe yeah. it's time for Justin Fortune perhaps to retire. Well, especially in the heavyweights, you know, they, there's some big punches being thrown in these guys. And uh, if you're not 110% committed, it's, uh, there's no use being in there. I remember going in and watching uh, Justin Fortune when he fought uh, his, his last fight. And uh, he was sitting there quite dejected, sitting on the uh, stool. And he said to me, he's going, you know, this sport, it gives you the world and then it takes it all away from you. And I, I think that's what Justin will be feeling tonight. Huh? At a time of 58 seconds of round number three, referee Trevor Christian said, enough is enough. Your winner, Carly Checkmate Mia. Well, Carly Meehan, very impressive indeed. And I'm sure we're going to see him again soon on Big Time Boxing. Speaking of heavyweights, Mike Tyson is always of interest. And of